Hey everyone, welcome to Criminal Content. My name is Cami. This is my first time reacting for the channel, so I'm excited to be with you guys. You can catch me in some other reactions over on Popcorn Roulette. You might know me from there. But today we are going to get into a Scorsese film. So we're gonna watch Shutter Island. Uh, Kobe has watched a few Martin Scorsese films and then Jonathan just watched The Wolf of Wall Street. So we're gearing up to the Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and Martin Scorsese film Killers of the Flower Moon. Um, and Robert De Niro was on In Cape Fear. So he's using some of his actors that he loves again and we're gearing up for that film. So I'm excited to jump into Shutter Island. Uh, and I love Leonardo DiCaprio, so. If you guys wanna watch the full watch along, that's over on Patreon, and with that, let's get into the movie. Excited for this one. Leonardo DiCaprio is just great to watch. Seamless actor. Shutter Island. Can hear the water. Boston Harbor Islands, 1954. We're going back. Ooh. It's a pretty cool shot. Pull yourself together, Teddy. Whoa. Okay, it is. It's just water. I like how they just jumped right into it. Oh, Mark Ruffalo. I love Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> the hell you boys smoking over there in Portland anyway? Seattle. I came from the office in Seattle. So this is their first time meetings. What about you? You got a girl? May? <laughs> right. Right, so you got a girl? Oh, he had a girl. I'm Shaw Williams. Okay. I feel like she always plays these roles. The wife. I'll give you a briefing about the institution before you left. All I know is it's a mental hospital. Okay. Well, if it's just folks running around hearing voices and chasing after butterflies, they wouldn't need us. Mmm. Setting up the ominous tone. The dock. It's the only way on. Laura, we'll be casting off as soon as you two are ashore. I'd appreciate it if you'd hurry up about it. Well, they're setting it up. Welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashcroft. What? Oh, I mean, I guess they need a lot of security. What's he? What's he going there to investigate? Right now, Marshall, we all are. They all are. What happened? <laughs> Did something happen specifically? Ward C is that building on the block. Ward C looks a little bit. An old civil war fort. The most dangerous patients are housed there. Yeah, it looks like it. That when inside a penitentiary, the officers of that institution have final authority. Okay. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. I guess they're gonna have to listen. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo is just like, what do you think? When did she escape? Oh, okay. We take only the most dangerous damage patients, ones no other hospital can manage. And it's all due to Dr. Colley. Hmm. Makes you wonder why everyone's there. Like, what's their story? Oh, she's got scars around her neck. Here's, oh. Marshall Daniels, Dr. Marshall Orr. I want to say who that is, but I'm, is it Ben Kingsley? <laughs> Hopefully I'm getting that right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about those, the imagery there. <laughs> These are all violent defenders, right? They've hurt people, murdered them in some cases. In almost all cases, yes. In almost all the cases. I'd have to say, screw their sense of calm. It's my job to treat my patients, not their victims. I'm not here to judge. Oh. Rachel Solando escaped sometime in the last 24 hours. You consider mm -hmm. dangerous? You could say well, that. Well, yeah. She, <laughs> she killed all three of her children. Oh. She drowned them in the lake behind her house. Oh. She starved herself when she first came here. She insisted the children weren't dead. Well, that looks kind of like the lady from outside, but old. 
older, younger. She looked older outside. Oh. She believes we're all deliverymen, milkmen, postal workers. She's created an elaborate fictional structure. She gives us all parts to play. Very delusional. I don't know how she got out of her room. It was locked from the outside and the only window's barred. It's as if she evaporated straight through the walls. She must have been doing something over those past two years, few years there. Got right back here after group therapy. Locked her in. Came back for a midnight round. She was gone. That's so strange. Someone had to have let her out or what? Ooh, okay. I was wondering if maybe, oh, okay. I thought <laughs> a floorboard. Oh, no. The law of who is who's that? We're gonna need access to the personnel files of all the medical staff, the nurses, the guards, the orderlies, yeah. anyone who was working there. I'll take your request under consideration. Did they bring him out there to figure it out or what? I'll assemble them in the common room after dinner. If you have any further questions, feel free to join the deputy warden in the search. Gotta let them do their job. I don't see why he wouldn't want them to talk to the staff. It's kind of strange. See, the ground have been crushed on the rocks and a body would have washed back up on shore. About those caves down there. Have you checked them? No way she could get that. Oh come on. Let's check the other side. Lighthouse. This is so eerie. Good. I didn't see nothing. You were at your post all night. Yeah, but I didn't see a thing. Yeah, everyone's gonna say that, but the salon don't say anything to the group there. She was worried about the rain. Probably because she knew she And was... she hated the food here. Going to be outside. Baker's <laughs> primary, the psychiatrist who directly oversees her care. We're going to need to speak with Dr. Sheen. She looks suspicious too now. A dangerous patient has escaped and you let her primary doctor leave on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have the phone number for where he's gone? It's like they think this is funny. They're not like really invested in... <sighs> Oh, something suspicious about the way they're going about it. What are these visions that that he's having? You have outstanding defense mechanisms. You're quite adept at interrogation. Well, it's his job. He should be good. They're both served overseas. Do you know where both paper pushers over there? Do or not? Oh, okay. These are where the flashbacks are coming from. Hmm. Hmm. He's got some trauma. We're going to need those files on Sheehan and the rest of the staff as well. No personnel files will be released. What? Why not? Out of the question. Bullshit out of the question. Bullshit. Who the hell is in charge here anyway? Yeah, he's getting angry. I don't blame him though. This investigation is over. We're gonna file our reports and we're gonna hand it over to him. Hoover's boys. Hoover's boys, that's right. He's like, I can't work with you guys. I mean, they won't even let him really conduct the investigation. Well, he's sitting up in his mansion right now, rethinking his whole attitude. Maybe in the morning he'll be bluffing. I can say that. Eh, it's probably bluffing, I guess. I found a whole stack of these tapes. Jesus, are you ever sober anymore? Yeah. She's still here. Who? Rachel. She never left. That's Rachel. She's here. You can't leave. Who? Oh, that's so hard. I'm just bones in a box. Oh, man. Man, that was emotional. What a well done scene though. <laughs> really felt that, you know? She was just like, the elements were getting her and she was dying. Ugh. The greatest obstacle to her recovery was her refusal to face what she had done. Was. Is there a reason you keep referring to your patient in the past tense, Doc? Yeah, I think she made it. I don't know, it's really fishy though. I feel like he was a part of it. You tore her face off, didn't you? 
Huh? What? It's no more normal for her, not ever again, no. I don't, I don't think you should bother him like this. I think it's just... Could you stop that? Please? Stop that! What is... What is that gonna help? I don't really feel like it was a good idea. Well, I have my dark days. I suppose everybody does. <clears throat> the difference is uh, most people don't kill their husbands with an axe. Is that what she did, I guess? She keeps to herself. She believed her kids were alive. She thought she was still living in the Berkshires. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sheehan's a good doctor, he would know. Um, so that was... Could I, could I have a glass of water, please? Rachel's doctor, though. Oh, okay, wait. Why didn't she want to... She didn't want Mark Ruffalo's character to see that? Did you ever meet a patient named Andrew Latis? No. Never heard of it. Uh-oh. Who's say. Andrew Latis? You asked every one of those patients back there about him. Who is he? Yeah, who is he? He's a maintenance man in the apartment building where my wife and I live. Really? Is he there? He's also a firebug. Andrew Lata slipped the match that caused the fire that killed my wife. So, if he's asking the patients about him, then is Andrew there? First he went to prison, then he got transferred here. Then what? Then nothing. He vanished like he never existed. No record was- Oh, wow. She wrote it. Okay, well, I'm glad he's telling him. Run? No, let's go. Okay. Yeah. I'm not here to kill Lotus. I don't even really know how he would be there though. If he disappeared, they would have to be hiding him. We got through the gates at dark out. The SS guard surrendered. Hmm. Tom and Don tried to kill himself before we got there, but he botched it. Now to die. Yikes. That is crazy. God surrendered. We took their guns. We lined them up. Did they execute them? <laughs> That's so hard. Ed, I've, I've had enough of killing. That's not why I'm here. I'm starting to get nervous. They release him after one year. What does he do? Two weeks on the mainland, he walks into a bar, stabs three men to death. No. They're experimenting on people here. How do you believe a crazy guy? Crazy people, they're the perfect subjects. They talk, nobody listens. Yeah, that's true. That's true. What do you really hate to do, Ted? I'm gonna get the proof. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Mm. So he doesn't trust him from the start. Everything about this place stinks of government ops. What if they wanted you here? Bullshit. Oh. Now they have us both here now. <laughs> oh, okay, and the doors pop open. Marshall, are you out here? Yeah, I don't know, I think they should. It's an island, boss. They're always gonna find us. We're getting off this goddamn island. You and me. Yeah, just plan to leave. Well, don't. I mean. Okay. I was like, try to act normal. <laughs> Let's. If Holly wants to talk to you now, and hurry up, this thing is turning into a goddamn hurricane. Okay. I'm just watching this. I don't even. I'm a little nervous that he's been through so much trauma that he is actually a patient on the island and it's like a twist, but I don't know. You said you had no idea what that second line could refer to, correct? Who is 67? Yes, I'm afraid I still don't. Patients at 67? Till Solando is suggesting that you have a 67th patient. What's the good news, doctor? Yeah, what is the good news? Come on. Rachel's been found. No. She's here. What did they... Tell them right away. Oh, there she is. Where'd they find her? Get, answer the questions. Now, if you could tell us what you did yesterday, where you were, 
would really help us narrow down our search. Would she tell them the truth, though, or? I made breakfast for Jim and the children, packed Jim's lunch, and he left. Yeah, she's not gonna tell him anything that's true. I thought of you. Thought of you? She doesn't even know you. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you know how lonely I've been, Jim? Oh, is she pretending that he's her husband? Rachel. <laughs> so she thinks she's seeing her dead husband. I'm so sorry, but I... I don't think she's going to be helpful at all. My Jim's dead, so who the f*** are you? Oh, wow, she's so crazy. I mean, <laughs> we know that, but... So glad you're bright, isn't it? Photosensitivity, headaches sometimes, Marshall. Are you having a migraine? I don't know. Take these, Marshall. A couple of hours will be as clear as a bell. He's having a migraine. Imagine someone sort of. Is he taking medicine that he's supposed to have? <laughs> hmm. Something is very amiss. I mean, obviously, but. I'm just trying to pinpoint which way they're going with this. Who is that? Yeah, I was gonna say, who is that? Is that... It looks like an ex-military prick, huh? You know what? I ain't gonna argue with you on that one. <laughs> See, he's gonna hallucinate again. Are they gonna open their eyes or something? Yep. Oh, it's her. It's Rachel. This man's gonna need to therapy after all this. Is that? I should have saved all of us. I'm still wondering who his wife was talking about, who was still in the house when it was burning down. Hmm. Yeah, he's pretty hard to mistake. <laughs> How much you need him? He he definitely needs a break. He needs to. Watch ticking, my friend. We're running out of time. I hope he's not crazy. I hope. I hope that's not what it is. Oh. Give me a hand here. She's still acting like he's his husband. That's her husband? Something is just not, not right with all these visions he's having. This, these aren't her children because they wouldn't be all bloody like this because she just drowned them. Isn't he beautiful? Uh, I need some answers. <laughs> I need some answers. I mean, he could just be having a lot of nightmares and all the trauma from war, but I don't know. Latus isn't dead. You need to find him and you kill him dead. Yeah, wake up. I want to get back to reality so I can know what ha what's happening. Christ. Okay, so a lot of people got loose. Did the noise give you anything on a layout? Not really. All I remember was people screaming day and night, no windows, iron bars everywhere. Well, hopefully they secured the people in there a little better. But some of them are still loose. And if you see one, don't try to restrain them yourselves. These kill you. you. Clear? Yeah. Where are their weapons? They need to give them the weapons back. <laughs> I feel like they also wouldn't just let them roam around like this. I think they would. They were so, like, restrictive in the beginning. And now they're just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would I wouldn't be I wouldn't be doing that. I would not be strolling around in there. I would wait. Latest. I can feel him. 
Ah, okay. You're it! <laughs> oh, are his feet all bloody? See, I feel like he did go there just for that latest guy, if, if that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Where did Mark Ruffalo go? Can you he not hear this? We hear things here about the outside world, about atolls, about each bomb test. What are they telling these patients? The bombs explode, eh? Yeah, but not the hydrogen bomb. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah, don't don't do it. Catch them, not kill them. He jumped us. No. You give me a hand with him. Well, he's got terrible timing. I feel like it would have been nor more normal for them to be like, "Look, let's get out of here. Come on." Instead of just going, "Oh, we're gonna leave you in this dangerous situation." No, 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 no. Why is everyone saying his name? I think you need this place. You brought it. Was that him? Who? George Norris. No, it's not possible. You can't be here. You don't like it? Wait, who is that guy? Get up. He knows a lot. I know people like you. I trust this man. Uh, and they've already won. I think Leo might be crazy. Your head. And I told you it was from happy. She's gonna kill you. She's gonna kill you. Mm, I agree. He needs to. You have to let her go. I can't. Let her go. Never leave this island. She's already gone. God help you. Well, we'll see when he gets to the lighthouse, I guess. Just keep going. We belong here. I feel like events aren't happening normally, so I don't know. Going to that lighthouse. Let me find out what is happening on this island. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to get to. I'm going on alone. I'm going with you, boss. I said alone. Let him go with you. Chuck! No, he's not. No. Did someone kill him? Please don't tell me he's down there. No! Who pushed him? No, this this just makes me so uncomfortable. Cause it's now he has nobody. I just uh, and now he's climbing down there. This just doesn't make sense. The paper just happened to blow up there. This oh, this just can't be accurate. <laughs> yeah, he just free climbed. All the way down there. Okay, he's definitely gone crazy. Yeah. Why would Chuck be in there? <laughs> you just saw him dead on the rocks. I'm Teddy Daniels. I'm a cop. You're the marshal. <sighs> that looks like Rachel though. Rachel Solando. Oh, okay. It is her. It I never had children. She looks so I was never married. Much different. So much older, so. Pull out some nerve fibers. Makes the patients much more obedient. It's barbaric. Unconscionable. This is so bizarre. The brain controls fear, empathy, sleep, hunger, anger, everything. He's not even questioning why Rachel is still missing. She's older, so 
that they can't let you leave. I am a federal marshal. They can't stop me. I don't know about that. They could definitely make him disappear. Let me ask you, any past traumas in your life? Well, yeah, he's got a lot. <laughs> Who wouldn't after what he'd been through? They can say that about anyone. Anyone the at all. The point is they're gonna say it about you. I mean, you know, I would I would definitely believe that they would do that. Trouble sleeping. Headaches. They, they are already ex migraines, yeah. experimenting on him. You haven't taken any pills, have you? I mean, even aspirin. The, yeah, the aspirin. Jesus. Yeah, he's taken all. It takes 36 to 48 hours for neuroleptic narcotics to reach workable levels in the bloodstream. So is, did they drug him and that's... This is where they create the ghost. Who knows about this? On the island, I mean, who? Everyone. Everyone? The nurses, the, 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 the orderlies? They, they, they couldn't possibly know about Everyone. Everyone. I mean, that's a lot of people that are in on it. I'm happy for you. <sighs> I mean, that's quite impressive. <laughs> he just climbed up there, went down and back up. We were wondering when you'd show up. Have a seat. Come on. Wondering when you'd show up. I just, I'm just like staring at this. I need more, I need more plot points. I need some things. <laughs> you don't know me. Oh, but I do. Oh, you don't oh I know you. We've known each other for centuries. Centuries? What? Uh, I don't even want to ask questions. I just want them to tell me what's going on. <laughs> just looking at your island. Oh, I forgot you're leaving now that Rachel's been found. Right, Rachel. Big meaning. Oh, not the real Rachel. My partner, Chuck. You don't have a partner, Marshal. You came here alone. Uh, huh. Tell me again about your partner. Just be like you what partner? Yeah, exactly. That's I would just say that. And that's why she said run. He had to sneak to get his clothes. He shouldn't have to. It's not that bad. Huh? It's What's this? It, it's it's just a sedative. It, precaution. Oh, precaution. <laughs> oh boy. When you see a monster, stop it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know, yeah. I thought he was gonna do it, and he did. But I'm not feeling hopeful for him getting out of there. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if he's trying to... They don't know that he stabbed that guy with the needle. Gotta get to the ferry. Oh, no. No, no. Why, what's he trying to do? If the world thinks that Chuck is dead, then he's perfect for their experiments. One place they take him. Yeah, but did, didn't Chuck fall? Truth is, he's one. Unless he thinks he w himself was hallucinating the fall and that Chuck's alive. He's gonna blow up the car. That's what I'm thinking. He, like, he had a daughter. She was in the building. He's a little too close to that explosion. <laughs> go big or go home. He might as well just go, go all in. I think anybody was really there though. <laughs> it didn't even look like that was hard to open. Oh, come Why on. are you all wet, baby? This is, uh. I just feel like Leo has to be crazy at this point. Like, he's just sitting in there alone. Chlorpromazine. The same thing we've been giving you for the past 24 months. Mm. You've been here for two years, a no. patient of this institution. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was coming, but... 
people that I deal with every day. I'm a U.S. Marshal, for God's sakes. You were a U.S. Marshal. Here's a... Maybe they are really awful and crazy, and they're just trying to... You came here for the truth. Here it is. Your name is Andrew Ladis, the 67th patient at Ashcliffe. Andrew Ladis. That's why everyone was saying his name. Though your crime is terrible, one you can't forgive yourself for, so you invented another self. You're the most dangerous patient we have. Oh, my God. You asked him what happened to his face. He said, and I hear, I'm quoting again, you did this. He meant that it, it, it was my you fault. You almost he... killed him. Oh. Permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. Is there any way? <laughs> Do you understand? Is there any way they can twist it again and he is not crazy? You're gonna tell the US Marshal's office that he's a defense mechanism? Tell the boss. Oh, what? Did they have him follow him around and pretend? Well, you gotta believe him. I'm sorry, there wasn't any other way. Someone had to stick with you, keep you safe. You mean watch me, huh? He is crazy. Don't you recognize me, Andrew? I've been your primary psychiatrist for the last two years. I'm Lester Sheehan. Wow. Well, but if we let you play this out, Aww. we could get you to see how untrue, how impossible it is. Yeah. We've had the run of the place for two days. Wow. Where are the Nazi experiments? The satanic ORs. They really did just let him run his course. That's why nothing made sense when I'm like, he just wouldn't make these decisions logically. If we fail with you, then everything that we've tried to do here will be discredited. Everything right now, it'll come down to you. Don't move, don't move! <laughs> what? Andrew, please oh. don't. Did he, what? Toy, Andrew. Oh my god. Andrew, Andrew, you shut up! Oh. 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 oh, you got his life! Your children, Andrew, you're. Oh. We never had any children. Your wife drowned them at the cabin by the lake. No. Little girl, the one you dream of every night. That his. Who, oh, her? The one who tells you over and over that you should have saved her. His wife really was crazy too? Well, I hope he realizes that I <laughs> told you not to come in here. This would be the end of you. Or the end of you, if he realizes what really happened. We got him just outside Oklahoma. Must have stopped 10 places in between here and Tulsa. Oh, they're flashbacking to... She's gonna be all bloody. Okay, this makes sense now in the vision why she was like, her hair was getting wet. School's not in on Saturday. My school is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so terrible. Huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is making me get so teary. I don't like it. Let me free. Set her free. I love you. Oh. Oh my gosh. Rachel? Rachel who? Hmm. Rachel who? They know who Rachel is. My daughter. Why are you here? What a, what's going on? I killed them because I didn't I didn't get her help. No. I killed them. He blames himself. Here's my fear, Andrew. We we broke through once before, nine months ago, and then you regressed. Oh, wow. And I murdered my wife in the spring of 52. Yeah, they said it was 1954 when the movie started. 
Well, I hope it worked, but watch him. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. <laughs> I really don't. So what's our next move? You tell me. Yeah, you tell him. Tell him, hopefully. I gotta get off this rock, Chuck. Get back to the mainland. Whatever the hell's going on here, it's bad. Oh, no. That's so sad. Oh, ben Kingsley's just like, we did all that. It's still not working. Don't worry, partner. They're not going to catch us. That's right. We're too smart for them. Yeah, we are, aren't we? Don't play along. Maybe you could just try to tell them. Like, I mean, I'm sure they've tried everything, though. Which would be worse? To live as a monster or to die as a good man? Teddy? Mm-hmm. He's gonna do something. Does he really truly know? Like Okay, I thought he was gonna grab some kind of weapon out of that guy's whatever he was carrying, it looks like a weapon. <laughs> or a knife or something. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. What a movie though. It's like, I, I guess that he might be crazy, but none of it made sense to me. <laughs> none of it made sense until it all unfolded at the end and I'm just like, wow. That was really good. That was that was amazing the way that they unfolded this at the end. Like I'm so just everything made sense. Everything made sense. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Wow. Well, I mean, great Martin Scorsese film. Great performances. That was really good. That was sad though. It was sad too. Oh. Well, guys, I really did enjoy this. I was not expecting it to unfold the way it did at the end. I thought that was really amazingly done. Amazingly done. Ben Kingsley, so I was right on the name there. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. This was really good. I'd love to hear what, what you all think of it in the comments. I love reading the comments and I love hearing everyone's thoughts. So thanks for joining me on the journey and we will catch you next time on Criminal Content. <laughs>